So look, here's the Minnesota version of the Cadillac Ranch. Look guys, <laughs> I think I have it upside down. of girl that hid in my face so afraid to tell the world what i've got to say but i have this dream right inside of me i'm gonna let it show it's time to let you know it's so that you know this is a real Directly across from the MSP Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport sits the Mall of America, known to a lot of Minnesotans as MOA. The Mall of America first opened its doors on August 11, 1992. At the time, there were 330 stores and more than 10,000 employees. Today, the Mall of America hosts more than 400 events a year, ranging from concerts to celebrity appearances and fashion shows. Each year, 40 million people from around the world visit the mall generating nearly $2 billion each year for the state of Minnesota. So we are here at the Mall of America today. <laughs> They're excited. They love coming here. It's good for a cold or rainy day. Um, it's nice to just get out and walk. I think each level around here is one mile, I want to say. Correct me if I'm wrong, you can put it in the comments below. But I believe it's like a mile each level. Okay, so here we are at the Radisson Blue. It's this hotel that's right directly in the mall. It's so awesome and it looks so cool. Let's go inside. The Radisson Blue Mall of America Hotel gives you direct access to the Mall of America and is actually accessible from right inside the mall. You can take the Skyway to the mall, use the shuttle for free commutes to the Minneapolis airport, or hop on the Metro Transit light rail to explore the Twin Cities area, all from this conveniently located hotel. The Radisson Blue MOA has over 500 comfortable rooms and suites. The inside three-dimensional walls were designed to resemble a full shopping bag topped with tissue paper. The decor truly pays homage to its location in Minnesota roots with its Scandinavian contemporary designs, even down to the lobby rug, which is an aerial interpretation of Minnesota and its being home of 10,000 lakes. We did not stay here, but we did pull some pictures of the rooms from TripAdvisor. Okay, so you know me, I have to get in. I have to get in at least once. Come in. This is nice. Ooh. Pretty cozy. I don't know if I'd take a nap in here, but it's a place to chill while you wait for your ride. Pretty cozy. You know I had to get in.
And if theme parks and rides are your thing, the Mall of America is also home to Nickelodeon Universe, a seven-acre theme park located directly in the center of the mall. You can purchase points for these rides with the electronic kiosks located throughout the park. The prices of the rides vary, but most that we saw were around, I would say, five points per person, so it can get pretty spendy. And it was a long day. Now we are heading to the car. We're done. It's over. Mall of America complete. <laughs> ah, we did it. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.